Our story begins with the friendship of three friends. The first was Mu Ya, the second was Chao Ya Lung, and the third was Wong Chun, also known as Greco Wong. As great martial artists lovers, each began to practice with a master who was expert in a different Kung Fu system. As everyone knows, Mu Yat became a disciple of Master Ip Man from the Wing Chun system. Chao Yalong, on the other hand, began his apprenticeship in Pa Ho Kun, the White Crane system, under the tutelage of the also famous master Chang Hak Fu. Finally, Greg Wong decided to practice Tai Chi Kun, better known as Tai Chi Chuan, with the remarkable master Chen Ting Hung. Afterwards, as a Kung Fu enthusiast, he also practiced Wing Chun with Mu Yat, since the latter needed a partner to study what he had learned. However, among all these disciplines, Young Greco's interest in the art transmitted by Ip Man grew larger. We are talking about the events that occurred during the second half of the 1950s. At the age of 24, Muyat became the youngest Sifu recognized by Patriarch Ip Man. Therefore, Greg Wong naturally became the first member of the new Kung Fu family. What we call Kung Fu family is the community led by a Sifu. Together with the Munha, that is the disciples, the Sifu composed the essential structure of the Kung Fu family. Therefore, the term in Chinese in the Cantonese dialect for Kung Fu family is Simon, a type of acronym of CG Munha. In other words, Sifu plus the Munha. This duo relationship of friendship and discipleship, although delicate in many cases, became particularly special in the relationship between Mu Yat and Greco Wong. Even though Greco had a conduct compatible with that of a disciple, Mu Ya always honored their friendship as well. As I was told by Sifu Tony Yung, one of the main disciples of the great master Wong Chun, he read a letter from Patriarch Mu Yat addressed to his Sifu Greco Wong, in which he referred to his friend and disciple as Yao Sang. That is, the combination of Pang Yao, which means friend, and Hok San, which means student. As my master told me, before actually establishing the Mo Kung in Bud Street in 1965, the Muya family began its activity at the Wong family's house. Greg Wong's father kindly allowed the place to be used for the practice of Kung Fu. I clarify that the Mo Kung is the place where the Kung Fu family is established. On the other hand, when Muya decided to take a sabbatical year traveling to several countries, he made sure that his student friend could have access to his Kung Fu brothers such as Mark Po and Sui Sun Ting, as well to his own Sifu, Ip Man. This experience provided to a representative of the 10th generation of the Ying Wing Chun lineage allow him to guide his young brothers such as Jeffrey Chen and Sam Lau in their martial experience outside the Mokun. Being young in age and new to Wing Chun, it was normal for them to be nervous. The presence of a more experienced person was fundamental for the experience to be productive and beneficial for all.
the status of Dai Dai Ji. That is, all these disciples of the Muya family allow him to have several privileges in his learning. As he himself narrates in his interview for the Wing Chun Illustrated magazine, he became aware of the presence of Patriarch Ip Man in the Mokun of the Moya family for the transmission of the weapons of the Wing Chun system. In this context, he had the rare opportunity of being invited by his own Sifu, Muyat, to help him stir them since the attendance of a partner was necessary for a deeper approach. All this experience allowed Sifu Greco Wong himself to transmit the Wing Chun system. In 1965, when he was still an university student in Hong Kong, he formed a select group of students from different departments of his educational institution. Among them was a freshman called Lo Siu Chun, also known as Thomas Lo, who four years later migrated to Brazil and became an important Wing Chun pioneer in our country.